Welcome back to GMA. We were talking earlier about text neck and how all that smartphone use may be uh, hurting your posture, but it also turns out that it could be ruining your mood, too. It's, there's some new studies on that. It's a story we first saw in the New York Times, and ABC's Dr. Jennifer Ashton has the details. We live in a tech-driven world, but is technology driving us to damage our bodies, even our minds? Physical therapist Steve August coining the term eye hunch, that hunched over posture we get when bending over a smartphone. But what happens when the weight of your head, about 10 to 12 pounds, is bent at a 60 degree angle over your tech gadget? According to August, the stress on a person's neck increases to 60 pounds, and that can cause pain. Upper back and neck problems have proliferated in the last 10 years. The big driver is the use of laptops, tablets, and smartphones. That's the physical part. But now researchers are trying to find out if there's a link between that eye hunch and mental health. Amy Cuddy, author of the new book Presence, examining this very issue in a New York Times article, citing small preliminary studies that suggest that slouchy posture may be linked to depression and low self-esteem. While none of these studies have shown conclusive evidence that staring at your smartphone affects your psychology, many professionals say sitting up straight, it's always a good idea. Good posture affects everything from your confidence level, from your assertiveness level, feeling good about yourself. And Ashton joins us now. This was the first story I read in yesterday's paper because yep. you know it affects everyone. Absolutely. A lot of people in the country. So right now this is about the theoretical, the observational, and the association. So let me explain. We know that the Superman pose, we've heard about mm -hmm. that, can inspire confidence. We know that some people who are sad or depressed tend to hunch or slouch over. So now it's really about can we connect the dots? Can we take texting, which typically assumes this posture, and say it can contribute to sad or depressed mood? And so that's what, what researchers are looking at. Well, posture. So again, <laughs> chest up, shoulders back, head neutral, eyes forward. And so you hold know, it up a little bit. Yeah, and again, yeah. this might benefit more than just your posture here. If, it, if your posture can affect your mood, I'm all in. So this is what we're going to be If you get a bad studying. email, you're still in a bad mood. Then That's you okay, throw right? it backwards, <laughs> and, and it gives you an arching posture. <laughs> Thanks very much.